Hi everyone, I'm going to play some more GeoGuessr, no moving challenges. Today I'm going to play Debray's The Balanced World, and I'm going to do 1 minute and 30 seconds. So that should give me some time to comment on my thought process. So let's see what we get. Okay, so what do we have? So we're driving on the right, and we've got a yellow diamond sign. So got a yellow plate here, is this going to be a Colombian plate? Uh, it's a very hilly location which should fit with parts of Colombia. Uh, yeah, South American countries typically have uh, these diamond signs and the architecture fits as well, so I think I'm going to go with Colombia here. It feels similar enough to previous rounds I've had in Colombia. So, so I think it could be anywhere in this region. The north looks a little bit different. Um, so, so where shall I go? Let's go somewhere here. This is in the middle of the area that I'm I'm thinking of. Okay, so quite a bit further north actually. At least we've got the right country. So what do we have? Um, so tropical landscape. Um, first thought is it's probably an Asian country, maybe Indonesia. So it's is it South America? Ah, these houses look Asian, almost Cambo Cambodian, the stilt houses. So, could we be in Cambodia or oh, it's somewhere else? We have language. Is that Latin or is that a, a unique script? Can't quite tell. Hmm. Is that. Cambodian script. Yeah, it feels. I think I'm going with Cambodia just because of the houses. So, even though I can't think which part of Cambodia would look like this. Um, maybe there's some. Some hills down here. So let's give it a try. Uh, we're completely off. We're in Ecuador, actually. So, yeah, not great. Not great. Let's look at that again. Yeah, Ecuador is always weird to me. I. I have a lot of problems recognizing the country, but yeah, I think these street lights do look more, more South American. And this, this sign threw me off as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. So we've got no front plate here. So. We have kilometers, so it's not mainland the US. It could be Puerto Rico, and I think it is. It's not the Dominican Republic. We don't have the bars. We've got sea to our south. So yeah, I can't think of anything better than Puerto Rico here. So let's dive in. We've got water to our south, and we've got turn off. We can't read the street sign here. And it curves around to the south on the west, so... Could we be in one of these bays, let's see, which might fit this location. Okay, we could be down here. And then we 
we've got a turn off there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give that a try. Oh, we're very close. Let's see. Ah, we're a bit further up, so we're on the same same base. So let's move on to the next round. Right, this looks like South Africa. We've got the Gen 2 coverage, which means we have the, the halo and the the blurry circle below us. So, so this is definitely South Africa. Um, you tend to get this very open, vast landscape kind of in the middle here, so I think it could be anywhere around here really it tends to get more arid to the west so it's not particularly arid here we have hills in the distance to our south um, so yeah I'm going to go a bit further south because we could be near some some hills, maybe here. Not bad, we're a bit further to the northeast. And let's move on. So this is this is Brazil. We've got the red plate and the Portuguese language, the NH combination is a good sign that you're in Portuguese in a Portuguese speaking country as opposed to a Spanish speaking country. Um, so I think this will be fairly northern in Brazil. Um, could be up here in Para or Tocantins, maybe even Roraima, Amapá, I don't know. Do we have a phone number? Probably not. Um, yeah, what else do we have? Um, I'm just trying to think where this feels like in Brazil. I don't think we're going to get a, a state name or a state code here. So I'm going to go around maybe maybe one of these towns, Naraba, Akailanda, any of these towns it could be. So let's try this. Okay, we were near the Amazon in Santarém. Okay, very good. So not bad. We had one major grew up in um, Ecuador, but everything else was was okay. A little bit annoyed at myself for not recognizing that this was a South American round as opposed to Asia. Um, but yeah, 16,000 points. So I'm going to try this again. Let's see if we can beat that score. One and a half minutes. So this is definitely Europe. Um, I can't find out much from the license plate. I'm wondering if this is going to be Alpine or if it's maybe in the Pyrenees near Spain. Not quite sure about these little sheds. The road isn't that great quality. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to think here. To be honest, it could be northern Spain or southern France. 
it could also be further further east, maybe maybe Slovenia. I think it's Montenegro. Ah, we have a rift. So this means Montenegro or Albania, so So yeah, is it Montenegro? Yeah, I'm feeling Monte more than Albania, so let's let's try. Most of the mountains are in the north, so let's try around here. Yep, it was Montenegro in a pretty decent score, so I'm glad I noticed the rift. And let's move on. So, another European round. The bollards, I, I don't know, I haven't learnt yet. Uh, so, where could this be? It feels very generic, it could be Denmark or something. Could be France. Uh, just looking at the architecture in the distance to see what what it reminds me of. Yeah, I could see this being France. It could be Poland, something like that as well. I don't know. Let's look at the palms again. Should I go France? I think I will. I'm not I'm not sure on this, but I think it's a good guess. I'm gonna go a little bit further to the east. I don't think it's too far south. So let's go around here. It's actually hungry, okay. Fair enough. Let's move on. So, got a tuk tuk. And do we have language? This looks like a Sri Lankan script, so. Yep, yeah, I think we're in Sri Lanka. Yeah, and the people also look very Sri Lankan, very South Asian. Um, so I don't know Sri very well, I don't know where in the country to guess. It seems quite flat here. A lot of trees. So let's go around here. Okay, it was in the south. Anyway, next round. Right, what is this? Is this um, South America? Ah, uh, we've got these stilt houses again. So are we in Yeah, I think we are in Asia this time. It feels a lot more Cambodian thinking about it now. Possibly Thailand. But I'm gonna bet that this is Cambodia based on rounds I've seen in the past. I don't know about the the poles. Uh, so yeah, let's see. It's not going to be down here. Yeah, I'm going to guess up here. Why not? There's a slight chance it could be. Thailand or something as well. 
Ah, uh, okay, we're in um, South America, we're in the Amazon again. So I, yeah, I made a pretty similar mistake with the uh, stilt houses, thinking we're in Cambodia. But yeah, let's look at that again. We are. Yeah, right in the middle of nowhere. Interesting, interesting location. Okay, let's move on. So this is definitely Japan. We've got the wide car. And, um... It's quite tough to guess within Japan, I find. I often get this completely wrong, so... Look here, the trees to see if it looks like a warmer or colder climate. But I think this looks like quite generic Japan, so a lot of Japan is also very, very hilly. So let's guess. Let's go for a Nirasaki, why not? So we were a lot further north in Hokkaido. Okay. Anyway, that was not great. We had another terrible South America round. And Hungary was also a bit challenging, so So let's try one more time, see if we can break the uh, 16k. So we have a very orange soil, the sun is to our north. So is this going to be Brazil or is this somewhere in Africa? It could be Eswatini actually, thinking about it now. Yeah, the, this little house here looks very Southern African. and. It doesn't feel like Botswana. It doesn't really feel like Lesotho either. I think Eswatini or somewhere close to Eswatini in South Africa is our, our best bet here. So let's let's go here and see what happens. Okay, pretty good. We are in Eswatini near the border. So uh, let's move on. So this time the sun is in our north. Wow, okay. We've got a yellow divider line here. We've got Spanish, so I think this is feels like Argentina maybe. We've got that Argentinian Argentinian aridness. Lack of trees. Argentina also has the yellow divider line sometimes, so can't make can't make out the green sign here. Yeah, I think go go Argentina here. So how far south could this be? I don't think it's gonna be right down here near Tierra del Fuego, so... Mm. Yeah, let's try... let's try this road. The road, road is going slightly north-east, so this, ro this road could fit. Okay, we were not too far away. So 
So this is European round. I think Eastern Europe by the look of the road. It could be in Russia. We could be in Ukraine as well. There's not much around us, it's very empty. I can't even see any houses really, there's a few here. But given how how rural, how undersea populated it looks, I think I'm going to go, go for Russia. And I'm not going too far east because it could easily be Ukraine or another European country. So I'm going to go Yeah, around here should be okay. So we were in Ukraine, okay. Let's move on. So this feels like Denmark, like in this house. And I think this is a... Well, I can't read it. DK domain, probably. Oh, some random Danish suburb. So yeah, I'm just going to pick a random town in the middle. Let's go with Vela. And we are in the south, near the German border, so let's move on. Last round. Uh, this feels Colombian with this dirt road and also the trees look kind of Colombian. I'm going to go north. North of Colombia, I think, but could be wrong. Where's the sun? The sun looks north to south. So it could be in um, Mexico even. Got palms here. Mexico can also have a similar look to this, and the, the sun does look quite quite south. So I think I'm gonna go with Mexico. Yeah, let's go around Puebla. Let's go here. It was Mexico, it was a lot further north near Mazatlan. Okay. So we got 19,000, so we had a better score this time. Yeah, Mexico and Ukraine were a bit off, but they're also tough locations, so yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.